It's the 26th of November. I'm Jerusha Sukhthia Rath and here are today's news headlines. A man is sentenced to 30 years in prison for the murder of Duduzile Zozo. SAA's acting CEO denies accusations of overstating his qualifications. And in Ferguson, a spokesperson for the Michael Brown family called the grand jury ruling completely unfair. A man accused of killing a lesbian from Johannesburg has been sentenced to 30 years in prison. The star reported Lechawa Motleleng pleaded guilty yesterday to the murder and rape of Duduzile Zozo. She was found dead in September last year. Judge Tifiwa Maumela said that he wanted to make a difference to all vulnerable groups of society. He said no one has been given the right to correct others when it comes to the right to love their own gender. You can't interfere with how someone chooses to live. According to the paper, the judge pronounced a harsh sentence for Motleleng in the hopes it would serve as a warning to those who threatened the vulnerable. He told the 23-year-old killer to change his attitude towards homosexual people. After reports in the Sunday Times suggesting the acting CEO of South African Airways had overstated his qualifications, CEO Nico Bezadenhoter said SAA, Mango staff and Mango's board have always known that he did not have a degree. Fin24 reported Bezadenhoter brandished the reporter's false and manipulating information. SAA's board said in a statement, in the opinion of the board, the tertiary studies that Mr. Bezadenhout has completed, although incomplete, provide sufficient grounding while his performance track record certainly exceed that of a number of previous and highly qualified airline CEOs. SAA admitted this week that its 2011 and 2012 annual reports were wrong to state that Bezadenhout had a BCom in Transport Economics and Industrial Psychology as well as an MBA. The DA on Sunday called on SAA to suspend its acting CEO pending the outcome of an inquiry into his appointment. A lawyer for the family of Michael Brown has said a grand jury's failure to indict the police officer who shot the unarmed black teenager was completely unfair. He added the criminal justice system was broken. An investigative panel decided not to charge police officer Darren Wilson in the August 9th killing in Ferguson, Missouri. In his first public comments since the shooting, 28-year-old Wilson told ABC News that he was sorry for Brown's death, but had a clear conscience. Brown and Wilson were involved in an altercation when Wilson shot Brown. Within minutes of the announcement that Wilson would not be indicted, unoccupied police vehicles were attacked, bottles and rocks flew, and tear gas choked the streets. The Ferguson Fire Department reported blazes in at least 25 structures and county police made 61 arrests. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News 24 Live.